overhauled. Uh, Recent changes to the temporary foreign worker program have left many Pinoy workers worried and confused about their future in Canada. These were the sentiments aired by hundreds of temporary foreign workers in Edmonton at an information session organized by the TFW Support Coalition. I myself is worried to say uh, I na yung expiration of work permit ko, so I have only a month left to find a job, a new job, especially when I heard that uh, my company was not able to comply with the requirements of the CAC. The so-called 70-30%, that's that what confused me most. The 70-30 ratio refers to the limit on the number of temporary foreign workers a business can hire together with Canadian workers for low-wage occupations. Many add the changes have also made permanent residency more difficult for temporary foreign workers. Extremely worried um, because the new changes in the temporary foreign worker program is essentially an order to deport them sooner than you know than they're, they're actually supposed to stay. Um, the changes in the program doesn't really address the issue of their indentured situation. They're still not able to leave their abusive employers. They're still not able to have permanent residence. Temporary foreign workers in Canada who will be expected to leave by the end of this year and next year means that their whole livelihood is affected. It seems like they don't want more foreign workers here. That's for me, this is the way that they wanted to get rid of the workers here in Canada. Because some, some Canadians say uh, they, they, the foreign workers is taking the job from them. But it's not really that. It's not true. Philippine consulate officials, meantime, are consulting concerned agencies in the federal government to understand changes in the TFW program. They hope to come out with an advisory for temporary Pinoy workers on the matter. We have had uh, uh, discussions with them to uh, understand more the changes. Basically, for now, we are, uh, for our part, we are, uh, we have prepared an advisory uh, to our Kababayans regarding the changes, informing them of the changes. So these are very detailed changes. There are there are information about the class classification system, the occupational standard system, and the different requirements now, uh, the, the need for a labor market impact assessment. What they have decided to do will be a hardship for everyone. A lot of them are so scared right now that if their LMOs and their work permits are not renewed, they'll have to go home. More information sessions are also being planned by the TFW Support Coalition to provide a better understanding of these changes and enable TFWs to plan for their future. Marjorie Carmona Newman, ABS-CBN News, Edmonton.